Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm glad you joined me. This is uh, the week after we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And I wanted to read something that Jesus did before he went to the cross because he wanted his followers not to be disturbed. He wanted to give comfort to them. This is what he said in John 14, verse 15. He said, If ye love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and he shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. So he knew that when uh, he went to the cross and died and his body was taken down and buried in the tomb, his followers are going to be very, very upset, worried, not know what's going to happen next. And uh, when he uh, then arose from the grave early on the third day, and then when he uh, was seen by over 500 people uh, at the end of his days here on this earth, he ascended back into heaven, and so there's his followers going, uh, now what do we do? Um, and he told them, he had told them here that he was not going to leave them alone, that he would send the Comforter. Well, he's talking about the Holy Spirit of God. The Greek word used there is the parakletos, the one who comes alongside of you and stays with you. <clears throat> I want to say three things about that. First of all, because these followers of Jesus loved him, Jesus prayed for them, and his Father, God the Father, gives us the Comforter. If you are a believer in Jesus Christ, then I want you to know that you're never, ever alone. No matter what you're ever facing in life, you never have to face it alone by yourself, that the Lord has sent the Holy, the Holy Spirit to be with you. And second, you might say, well, where is he? I don't see him. Well, you can't see the Holy Spirit. But if you're a believer, he comes to abide or to live with you, and he'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. He's always with you. Just as close as a prayer, he's always there for you to comfort you and to give you insight and to give you wisdom and direction and, and to, even to protect you. The Holy Spirit is always with you. And the third thing is, because Jesus died and was buried and rose again, Jesus is alive today. And uh, because he conquered death for you and for me, that means that you and I will live also forever. So if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, this is really good news. I even want to call it the great news because it says that we're never alone. Jesus made it possible to be forgiven of our sin if you believe on him and he will come send the Holy Spirit to abide with us. We're never alone in this life. My question to you is, does that make any difference for you? Do you know Jesus Christ is your personal Savior and the Lord of your life? Have you put your faith in him? And now do you know the Holy Spirit living with you or not? If you don't yet know Jesus is your Savior, I encourage you to come visit our church. We meet at 1020 a.m. every Sunday, and we would love to answer your questions and help you come to faith for yourself. God bless you. Have a great day.